This isn't your usual windmill story. Hidden beneath ocean waves, floating in city parks, and even fluttering like hummingbirds, new energy technologies are quietly reshaping our world. From underwater kites mimicking sea creatures to bladeless turbines capturing chaotic city winds, these innovations don't just challenge what we thought possible, they redefine it. While the world debates fossil fuels and solar panels, a silent revolution is brewing in places most of us never think to look. These aren't future dreams, they're real, functioning breakthroughs changing how we harness nature's power. The question is, how far can they take us? Let's find out. The ocean's hidden currents, Minesto's underwater kites. Beneath the surface of the ocean, where the currents move slowly but steadily, a quiet revolution is taking place. Swedish company Minesto has developed a remarkable technology called Deep Green, an underwater kite system that generates electricity from the motion of tidal streams. But these aren't ordinary kites. They glide through water in controlled figure-eight patterns, pulling a tether connected to a turbine that spins and produces clean power. What makes this system extraordinary is its ability to work in areas where tidal flows are weak. Traditional tidal energy systems require fast-moving water, limiting where they can be deployed. Deep Green changes that. Its kite-like design multiplies the speed of the current as it moves, making even low-flow sites viable for power generation. And since the kites remain fully submerged, they tap into stronger, more consistent currents away from surface turbulence. In the Faroe Islands, Minesto is working on creating an array of these underwater kites capable of producing up to 120 megawatts of energy. It's part of a national goal to reach 100% renewable energy by 2030. With support from global partners like Schneider Electric, Minesto's vision goes beyond islands toward a world powered, in part, by the silent pull of the tides. Trees that whisper power. The wind tree. In the heart of bustling cities, where towering skyscrapers meet quiet parks, a strange kind of tree has begun to grow, one that hums gently in the breeze. These are wind trees, a creation by French company New Wind, designed not to provide shade, but electricity. Standing about 30 feet tall, each wind tree is covered in dozens of small, leaf-shaped turbines. These artificial leaves spin with the wind no matter how soft, generating clean power year-round. Unlike traditional wind turbines, which require large open spaces and strong gusts, wind trees are built for urban life. They operate silently, take up minimal space, and blend naturally into parks, plazas, and residential streets. While a single tree produces less power than a large wind turbine, it can still generate around 2,000 kilowatt hours of electricity annually enough to power a small household. And because they can be installed in groups across a city, wind trees create a network of decentralized, renewable energy sources. Their artistic design means cities no longer have to choose between aesthetics and sustainability. Since the first installation in Paris in 2014, wind trees have sprouted in cities like London, Vancouver, and Stockholm. They're not just machines, they're symbols of how energy can be beautiful, local, and quiet. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Sunlight indoors. The Himawari system. What if you could bring the actual sun into your room? Not just its warmth, but its light. Its full spectrum. Its energy. That's the vision behind the Himawari Solar Lighting System, developed by Japan's La Forêt Engineering. It doesn't rely on solar panels or artificial bulbs. Instead, it channels real sunlight directly into buildings using mirrors and fiber optics. 
The system starts on the rooftop, where a heliostat, a computer-controlled mirror, tracks the sun throughout the day. This mirror reflects sunlight into a bundle of optical fibers that snake down into the building. At the end of this cable is a diffuser panel on the ceiling, scattering pure sunlight across the room below. Unlike electric lighting, Himawari provides the full natural light spectrum. It's known to improve mood, reduce eye strain, and cut energy use dramatically. Hospitals, schools, factories, and offices have adopted the system to bring daylight into spaces that never see the sun. It works quietly and cleanly, transmitting sunlight over distances of up to 60 meters. In a world chasing energy efficiency, the Himawari system offers something even more poetic, capturing the sun's path and painting it gently into our indoor lives. Kites that dance in the sky, sky sails power. High above the ground, where winds are stronger and more consistent, a silent ballet unfolds. Massive power kites, tethered to generators on the ground, sweep through the air in looping figure eights. This is the innovation of Sky Sales Power, a German company reimagining how wind energy is captured, not with towers, but with flight. Unlike conventional turbines anchored to the ground, Sky Sales system uses a large wing-like kite that rises up to 800 meters into the sky. As the kite pulls on its tether, it unwinds a cable connected to a ground-based generator. The tension and movement generate electricity. Once it reaches maximum extension, the kite is reeled back in with minimal energy and the cycle begins again. The beauty lies in its simplicity and portability. The system is compact and mobile and can be deployed on land or sea. Because it operates at high altitudes, it taps into winds that are twice as powerful as those at turbine height. In stormy weather or low wind, the kite can land automatically, minimizing risk. It's wind energy without towers or spinning blades, just the silent power of flight turned into electricity. Floating giants, touch winds single blade turbines. Far out at sea, where the wind never rests, a new kind of turbine is preparing to rise, not with three blades, but with just one. Dutch company Touchwind is challenging wind power conventions with a radical design. A single tilting blade mounted on a floating platform. It looks unusual, but it's built for efficiency, resilience, and affordability. The idea is simple. One blade is cheaper to manufacture, easier to maintain, and lighter to move. But there's more. This single blade tilts automatically adjusting to wind conditions. When storms or strong gusts strike, it leans out of harm's way, reducing the chance of damage. That means longer lifespans and fewer repairs. These turbines float on the ocean surface, anchored to the sea floor, yet free to sway with waves and wind. A built-in pivot system lets them align naturally with the wind for optimal performance. And because they're lighter and simpler than traditional turbines, production costs could be slashed by up to 30%. Touchwind has attracted investment from major players and plans full-scale testing soon. If successful, these floating giants could become the next step in offshore wind evolution. Clean, cost-effective, and built to survive the sea. The Hummingbird Turbine Tyree Wind's bio-inspired design. Some wind turbines spin, this one flaps. Inspired by the hovering motion of hummingbirds, the small-scale turbine developed by Tunisian company Tyree Wind offers a completely different approach to wind energy, one that's quiet, compact, and made for the city. Instead of rotating blades, this turbine uses two vertical wings that oscillate in a figure-eight pattern mimicking how hummingbirds stay suspended in midair. The motion may look delicate, but it's designed for real power. Built from lightweight carbon fiber, the turbine has a sweep area of just 11.7 feet, 
perfect for rooftops, balconies, and backyards. It only needs a gentle breeze, just two to three miles per hour, to start generating electricity. That makes it ideal for urban settings where wind conditions are unpredictable. While its rated power output is about one kilowatt, less than a full-scale turbine, it's enough for decentralized energy use like powering homes or small devices. The design is also bird-friendly, low noise, and visually subtle, addressing common concerns with traditional turbines. Tyree Wind plans to scale up the concept for offshore and onshore farms in the future. By flapping instead of spinning, the Hummingbird Turbine opens the door to a quieter, gentler future of wind power. Winds from every direction. The O-Wind Turbine. In the middle of a chaotic cityscape, where wind bounces unpredictably between buildings, traditional turbines struggle to stay aligned. But the O-Wind Turbine thrives in this disorder. Designed to capture wind from any direction, this bladeless, omnidirectional turbine represents a bold leap in urban wind energy. Developed by researchers at ETH Zurich, the O-Wind Turbine features a unique D-shaped rotor that spins regardless of where the wind comes from. It doesn't need to pivot or adjust itself like conventional horizontal axis turbines. That makes it perfect for rooftops and dense city environments, where wind shifts constantly and rarely flows in a straight line. Its compact size and bladeless design mean it's safe for birds, quieter than traditional turbines, and easier to install in tight urban spaces. Mounted on apartment buildings or high-rise towers, it can generate clean electricity in areas previously considered unsuitable for wind power. Early tests have shown promising results, especially in turbulent conditions where other turbines lose efficiency. It may not power an entire city on its own, but thousands of O-wind turbines scattered across rooftops could quietly turn swirling city winds into a meaningful local energy source without ever turning to face the wind. The future of energy isn't limited to giant solar farms or towering wind turbines. It's unfolding underwater, on rooftops, in city parks, and high in the sky, quietly and creatively. These innovations don't just generate power, they redefine how we interact with nature, space, and technology. From kites that dance beneath the sea to trees that hum with electricity, each invention pushes the boundary of what's possible. They're not experiments, they're solutions, alive and in motion. As the world moves toward cleaner energy, it's these unconventional ideas that may light our way forward. The question now is, are we ready to follow?